Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be testing out grindable eyeshadow. So many of you guys tweeted this to me and it's kind of a thing. I actually keep seeing it more and more. And of course, when I see something that looks really beautiful and shiny, it's for the eyes, it has a cool element and has a lot of interesting claims, then of course I'm gonna order it and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna make this video and we are going to grind shadows. There's a plane. We're gonna grind some shadows today. It's gonna be fun. From what I can see online, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Play-Doh thing where like things come out and I don't know, it's just like visually satisfying. And then the more I was learning about this product, which by the way, it's by a Korean brand called Pony Effect and I have a bunch of their makeup. Some of their stuff I really do love. I have high hopes that I'm gonna like this and it just looks so satisfying. They are $13.99 online and there are four shades. I don't know what shade I'm gonna do. I have not obviously, like I haven't done anything with these. Oh my gosh, that's actually super beautiful. So this is like a bronzy one. This one is called Guest List. And I guess you just, how do you do it? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so it really like comes out in pieces like that. Wow. Wow. Yo. That is like, what? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Look at that. <gasps> it has that kind of like creamy texture where it almost feels like it's wet, but it's clearly not because it's just powder. This is just a cool idea to keep it really fresh and to keep oils out of the actual pigment. And that way you are getting maximum shine, which I want maximum shine. Like that is what I'm all about. So let's look at the other shades. We have the shade EDM, which is a lilac sparkling shade. Really, really pretty. Don't know that I'm gonna wear that one today. Okay, so there is like a perfect champagne shade in here. And this one is called Club Kid. And then there is a more bronzy shade. That's really neat. Ooh, which one do I wanna do? This is like a rose gold. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so we are going to go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna first go in with a brush and see how it applies just with a brush. Maybe we're gonna have to dampen this. I don't know. That does not look promising. Okay. And that is falling like all over the place. Ugh. Oh God. It's very, um, it's very loose. You're gonna get this all over your face um, unless we go in. She's broken out her setting spray and we are gonna fix the crumbly situation in a flash by just dampening this brush up. And then we're gonna go back in and pray that this works. Okay, that's better. Hmm. And I am now just gonna take my fingertip because I think that's gonna be the best way to apply this. It's a little tricky, you guys. Like it's super high shine and pretty, but it's a little tricky. Okay, yeah, that's like the easiest, easiest way to get this on your eyes. All right, you guys, what was your favorite part of The Bachelorette last night? Because the whole show is just like, I'm loving it. I love Becca. I wish her all the love and joy in the world. And yeah, I'm having fun watching the show and I'm always snapping the show, so. Monday nights, if you wanna hang out with me, I'll do it on IG as well. Like, I'll post to both. That is beautiful. This is really, really pretty. That's like actually the like most flattering, perfect rose gold shade. Okay, I wanna put another one kind of on top of it. So I'm gonna take that champagne shade right here and I am not even gonna mess around. We're just going in with my fingertips straight away and layering this on top. Yeah, if this stays on my eyes and doesn't crease and just looks like this all day long, I'm gonna be a happy camper for $13.99. I think this is really, really cool. Don't use a brush. If you do want to use a brush and you're like, you I, you have to use a brush, maybe you have long nails or something, definitely use some MAC Fizz, 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 Fizz. Come on, out with it. <laughs> you didn't even use MAC Fix Plus, you use this. Use a setting spray and that will help you out. Otherwise, just use your fingertips. So I'm gonna put on liner lashes. I do really like this. I'm curious how it wears, if it's any different than any of my other kind of metallic shadows that usually fade pretty quickly, to be honest. So we shall see. All right, I'll be right back. Lashes are on. I'm loving my look even more, you guys. I think these are beautiful. I just was spending some serious time like swatching and rubbing in all the product and really like getting a close up look kind of while well, the camera was off, which is pretty dumb. But you guys, these are really pretty. How do I do this? I can't really go underneath my lower lash line with my fingertips. So like 
disregard actually what I just said. I'm taking a Morphe E36 and I'm gonna try to really like load up the brush as much as I can. I am gonna give it a spritz. This is a really, just really, really pretty lilac shade. And I'm just gonna kind of hit the inner corner, maybe about halfway out. I actually really like that, that's pretty. Okay, I really wanna put all of them on my eyes, but I am gonna stop. I really love the texture of these and the copper shade. I actually kind of wish I had used that one. I was filming the like insert swatches and really like rubbed the product just like nice, like nice swatch. And I was like, dang, this is so reflective and rich. It reminds me of an Armani shadow that I have that is so much more expensive. And I cannot wait to try out the copper one. The shade guest list. It's just like, ooh, just so pretty. Um, also, I wanna let you guys know that everything on my eyes right now, except for the lashes, is super affordable. So I use this Milani Everyday Eyes Kit in basic mattes. This is such a great palette. This one I think is the best one out of the bunch just because you have a warm shade in there and then you have these darker shades. You can use this as liner. You can use this to really like pull and accent that outer edge. And then you have a nice transition shade, a base shade. It's like the best of both if you lean more like warm, but a little bit cool. I just find this to be super flattering, super easy. And then I patted on a brighter shade, you know, grindable shadow. And I have this look and I really love it. So I'm having like a drugstore moment. So I also wanted to share with you that my blush today is the Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush in Bashful. I'm also wearing L'Oreal on my lips. This is an infallible uh, chocolate color collection in the shade Candyman. And I actually really love these, you guys. Like since I did my video on these, I have not been able to stop wearing them. They are beautiful. I even posted an Instagram picture with me with dark lips, which never happens. And I really like, I love how it wore. It didn't crackle off. It was just like so, so good. So if you wanna see this collection and how all of these new shades that are scented like chocolate, which they smell really good, um, if you wanna see them swatched and tried on, then I will link that video below. But that's your lowdown on the rest of my makeup. As always, I do list everything in the description box. So if you're ever curious, like what foundation I'm wearing, what brow products, all of that, I get carried away for sure, but I do detail list everything. So check that out always. I gotta get back to my day and then we'll see how everything goes. But so far, it's fantastic. I'll see you guys soon. Right. You guys, so uh, I'm having a bad day. My immediate thought was just like, scrap this video and film it again and make more work for myself instead of just being freaking real. Everybody has bad days. Everybody has crap that goes on in their life. And I thought, you know what? I don't care. Even though earlier today I cried off my eyelashes. They're literally right here. Is that not like the most annoying thing ever? Like your makeup is perfect and everything is good. And like, I will do the like full head, like tilt down to like let my tears, like not F up my makeup. And then slowly you like feel like one lash. If you're a lash wearer, you feel one lash just kind of go and you're like, oh my God. Anyway, I cried off my lashes. That's how my day is going. I made a promise to myself that I was going to fully open up to you guys and kind of, <sighs> Not that I don't keep it real, so I don't wanna be like kind of keep it real, but I just, I don't know. I wanna let my guard down. You see me on Snap, you see me here, you see me on Instagram, oh God, I'm everywhere. And you see the really good moments, but I am totally human and I have really crappy moments too. I have bad days, I cry, I get angry, depressed, I have good days and fun days. And I think sometimes when you watch, especially beauty videos, you immediately think that life is just perfect 24 seven and I don't even have tissue, I only have toilet paper. Ugh, I'm just having one of those days where like, I think that I've calmed myself down and then like, I just continue to tear up. This is not normal behavior for me. I do feel like I have to put the disclaimer out there. Like anytime I show like, you know, being upset or having a bad day, people immediately think that it's something to do with your relationship. So I'm upset about very different things outside of my marriage and my relationship. I'm just dealing with some family stuff. And wow, I thought I was done. Like I honestly, I sat down and I was like, okay, weird. You've been crying all afternoon. You're gonna sit down and just like have, I don't know why I thought like I would have a laugh that I was crying all day. And then I'd be like, hey, let's, Let's put more eyeshadow on and distract ourselves with makeup. I'm really sorry, this is not the video that you guys signed up for.
oh God, I like crossed over that line where at first it's like kind of like, oh, oh, she's sad. And like, then it's like, ugh. <laughs> like she needs to calm down. Like, come on, pull it together. So when I first started YouTube, I was in like the really darkest place of my life. I've never really gone into detail about that. I just, I haven't. I was in such an insecure, depressed, awful place in my life. And I really felt like I had nothing. And I didn't even know that I had anything special to give the world. And every day felt so painful. And literally I used to like pass out in public, like thank God that does not happen anymore, but I would get like anxiety attacks where I felt like I couldn't breathe. I had to really fight through that. Like I had to really, really fight through all of my own demons and things that happened to me, you know, throughout my life. And I had to face that. And part of the way that I faced that was by making videos. I feel really lucky that I found a way out and that I was able to escape myself and that I was able to create and feel really good. Gosh dang it, I have a, a freaking message I want to share to you all. Oh my God, I've cried so much. It's actually a miracle my foundation is like on oh, A plus on the eyeshadow because there has been water, tears. Um, yeah, so my escape of creating content, playing with makeup, having something pretty to swatch and try on and feel better, like makeup was my medicine. It pulled me out of that dark place. It helped me to express myself and interact with people, meaning you guys, like you don't know, you literally, you were my hand. You pulled me to my feet when I just was at that low point. I'm so grateful, like I'm so grateful. So I guess basically I have been at the lowest point I feel like you can go to as far as being depressed. And I don't, I'm not tossing that word around there lightly at all. I'm really not. And one of my dear friends is really going through it right now. And I'm like very triggered because when someone that you love is super depressed and unreachable, it's the worst feeling and it's a really scary feeling. So that's what I'm dealing with. Not being able to fix someone or reach someone or make things better for them is the worst feeling. Having been there myself, because I know how bad it can be. I will share this though, and God, I look fucking crazy. Okay, so I think I took like 10,000 years to like, <gasps> like get through all of that. And I guess what I wanna say is I'm having a messed up day over a friend being very, very depressed and unreachable and it's freaking the crap out of me and I don't like it. And you know, on one hand, you're not responsible for other people's happiness and you're, it's not your job to fix everyone around you, even though I tend to be that person, like I want it, I want to fix everyone. I want everyone to feel good. So yeah, so I've had a good, good cry just about that and having to kind of let go and be like, I can't do anything. You know, but to you guys out there, if you have been in those moments where you feel like you physically feel like everything is a struggle. And I mean like waking up in the morning, going to the bathroom, taking a shower, like it, where everything just feels wrong and you don't know why. And you know, God, I've been there. And I just, I feel like therapy and just all the help and support that I had to kind of pick myself up, like that helped a little bit. But if I'm being just like honest truth, when I've said before and I get ready with me that doing the right thing is what builds confidence, like that's what did it for me. And I preach that like nonstop. And what I mean by that is when you take responsibility for your actions, your emotions, and you take charge and you honor that, and you get really real with yourself and you stop lying and you stop giving the answer that you think people wanna hear and you start actually being the person that you are, things shift. And then you reach for different goals and you take baby steps and you keep honoring yourself, you kind of set all the BS down and, and it's, it chips away at it. It's not like a, like, yay, I'm healed, I am good. You know, we have emotions that are all over the place and that's being human. So yeah, it took me a long time to kind of grow and heal and I still feel like, God, I still feel like I, I'm growing and healing all the time. But if you are in that hopeless state, it's really hard, like for someone to be like, 
be happy. And you're like, oh, I never thought of that. You know, like I get it, but really do the small things. Do like the little small things and honor yourself. Do not place it over here, over there, over here. It's, it's you know, my, my relationships, my job, where I live, you know, it's, it's usually something to do with you. People don't want to face that more often than not because it doesn't feel good. I'm such a mom right now. I'm like, make good choices. Um, make good choices, love yourself, forgive yourself, um, but also find what it is inside of yourself that is you living your true life and keeping that gut check in mind. Anyway, wow. I don't, I really think I should probably not upload this, but I probably will. I probably will, you guys, because do you know what else is really screwed up right now? Is I am stressing myself out so much. I don't know if it's just a superstition that I've decided to really work myself up over, but I feel like every time I've taken even one upload off, my views and my channel start just going and with everything like moving and kind of shaking out with YouTube right now and how they're serving up content, like I'm afraid, like I don't wanna get lost. I've been doing this for too long. I enjoy what I do. So I'm just like, you know what, screw it. We're just not gonna overwork myself into perfect content. So surprise, if you see me like this on an off day, um, hi. This is, this is me. I'm gonna try to fix my makeup now. This shadow, by the way, pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, right? Back to the makeup. I am going to touch up my rubbed off foundation with a little more foundation. You know what's really strange is it actually oddly felt like a therapy session to like share all of that with you. I don't know if it was weird for you, but it sure felt great for me. So thank you. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, so I just took a little bit of a cushion foundation on a dampened beauty blender and blended that around my face. I'm gonna take some Milani. Uh, this is actually a powder foundation, but it's not super cakey or heavy. I'm gonna try to further tone down some of the redness. Okay, we're ready for more grindable eyeshadow and I'm actually gonna take the copper shade that I was like, man, I wish I had tried that one. All right, so the liner got a little bit thicker. That's okay, we are gonna roll with it. Pop these puppies back on and I'm like, I'm brand new. And it's almost like nothing happened at all. Um, my lashes are a little wonky, but you know, makeup, man, it can kind of help you kind of eh, feel a little bit better. Still totally obsessing over this gloss from the balm. It's their plumping gloss. And this shade is a mystery. I don't know what shade this is. Amplify. I very genuinely do like this eyeshadow. If that is the one good thing about this day, I love this eyeshadow so much. Grindable shadow, and I can totally see how it would keep it really, really fresh for $13.99. All right, you guys, I'm actually already feeling like a lot better now that I had a good cry. Tomorrow is a new one. If you are having a bad day, I'm like sending all of my love and my energy and my hugs to you guys, and you, have changed my whole life. I say this a lot, but it's just so true and I'm so grateful. And I think that I really wanna just start being more open and real. Sometimes like hearing somebody talk about their crappy days, like it makes you feel less alone. So maybe I've done that for you. I know that in a weird way, having you guys on the other end of this camera makes me feel less alone. So thank you so much for that. It means everything to me. And I really hope I never lose that. She just fixed her makeup and she's gonna start crying again. Um, all right, I love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, like any part of it, you can give a thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified for more videos where I'm not crying because this does not happen all the time. I promise you this is not my normal character. I do not sit down and blubber on camera. I know it was kind of weird, but uh, to be notified for upcoming videos, hit the bell. All right, uh, that is that. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mm -hmm.